You sound pretty sick. Sorry about that, I've been laid low with this cough. Doesn't inspire a lot of confidence, does it? Though to be fair, I don't treat humans, I only make medicine for chocobos. You're the apothecary? That's right. Oh, did you need something? There I was just complaining about my health as if I didn't have a business to run. If you want some medicine, you'll have to bring me the ingredients first. That's how I do things. Medicine for chocobos, although I know a few recipes that work on people. So the chocobos have their own apothecary. They have it good in this village. That's because without them, we could never survive out here. So then, what do you need? Supplements for a chocobo. What I need are... <coughs> have you been to see a doctor? For humans, that is? I'm fine. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, brewing chocobo. To make it, I'll need chocoboros and slug sweets. Bring those, and I can brew you a batch.
the other day. Angel of Valhalla. Well, he hasn't gotten any worse. That's good to hear. Now it looks like you collected all the ingredients we need. I'll get straight to work. Here you go, one batch of chocobo. This is some of the best chocobo I've ever made. Why? <laughs> that cough. You can't keep going on like this. Where's the nearest doctor? I'll take you. It's no use. The doctors can't do anything. Sorry, what do you mean? They say, well, I don't have much time left. Of course, no one grows older and no one dies of old age, but disease and accidents can still take us, and apparently it's my time. I'd been hoping that I'd at least make it to the end of the world. I wanted to see what it would be like. But at least I was able to make medicine for the Angel of Valhalla before I breathed my last. Not to mention, thanks to the ingredients you found, it was the best chocobo that I'd ever made. It makes all the hard work worthwhile. And now, I just have one last task to do. One last task? What's that? Oh, I'm rambling again. It's just a personal thing. Forget it. Now, don't you have a chocobo to look after? By the way, you haven't seen any red crim mushrooms around, have you? No, I don't suppose you have. No one has. Never mind, then. If you're ever in need of more medicine, just come see me. And bring the right ingredients with you, of course. Hey, Light. Why don't you try feeding some of that to the chocobo? Come on, you can do it. The legendary red mushrooms. I suppose they really are extinct now. Look, don't get your hopes up, but I've got something I want to show you. This is a... a crim mushroom! Where in the world did you find it? Please, oh, please, I'll do anything if you'll give me that mushroom. With it, I can make the medicine! <coughs> is the mushroom all you need to make the concoction? Well, no. <clears throat> there are other things I'll need. Uh, this is the recipe. I'll need all of this. Sorry to ask, but...
door. I don't believe it. <laughs> you actually got everything. Now I'll finally be able to do my final task. Words cannot express just how much this means to me. <laughs> Truly. But I want to say thank you anyway. So, that was your last task, to make this medicine. Yes, I want to give it to someone, but I'll have to be extra careful with this brew. I can't ruin this, not something this precious. That's right. Don't you go wasting all of my hard work. I'll take that as encouragement, I guess. I'll bet every last bit of pride I have as an apothecary on this. Calm down now. It's a healthy looking bird. Why, thank you. You wouldn't believe that not so long ago, he was so injured he could barely walk. Is that right? Yes. He's completely better now, though. He can run like the wind, all thanks to the herb I gave him. Must be a powerful medicine. What's it called? Why are you so interested? Oh, you're the person who found the Angel of Valhalla, right? I think I can help you. The herb is called Yule's Flower. It's a very beautiful flower that grows out east, near the ruined city. Yule's Flower, huh? Yes. If you find one, let your chocobo graze on it. If you pick it yourself, it's not nearly as effective. Actually, speaking of that, can I ask you a favor? If you do get the Angel of Valhalla to eat some Yule's Flowers, could you bring him to me afterwards? I could, but why? Well, it's just that I want to check something. Well, if chocobos can learn how to speak, and if the angel is smarter than the rest... Do you really think they can talk? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Anyway, if you do go to the ruins in the east, be careful. There are scary monsters roaming around there. What was it that you were talking to Nadia about? She told me about an herb, something called Yule's Flower. It's supposed to help chocobos. Yule's Flower, huh? Wait, she told you to give one of those flowers to your chocobo, right? And then bring him back to her, right? Good guess. Ah, I knew it. She really thinks that Yule's Flowers can make chocobos talk. She does seem obsessed about talking chocobos. Listen, can this Yule's flower really help my chocobo? Oh yeah, it's an amazing medicine. It can cure chocobo injuries faster than anything I know. Yule's flowers are real and they work, but not for making chocobos talk. Nadi is a bit kooky and that gets her into trouble sometimes. Not that you have to worry about her at all. Nope, keeping her safe is my job. Even if she gets angry at me and tells me I'm a meddler.
mission time. flower. They tell me this will make you strong. Here, eat it. <laughs> well, looks like it works. Nadia's the one who told me about the flower, and she's anxious to see you. Let's go to Yagd and thank her in person. story of the great chaos and that means checking out that temple in the foothills near the temple is an isolated settlement called polta it's inhabited by disciples of the goddess etro a whole village of heretics who've turned their backs on the order heretics they may be but they aren't fanatics they fled from persecution in the city they only want to be left alone then, I don't think they'll appreciate a stranger dropping by. Well, you won't know until you go. Polta lies at the edge of Rocky Crag. Ah! I'll just wing it. <laughs> to this. Right? What happened? <coughs> Qua? Is that all you can say? Oh, darn. I guess it didn't work. You were just pretending to be sick? Why would you do that? Um, well, it's kind of an embarrassing story, but we're friends now, aren't we? I used to live in Yusnan. But I had a big falling out with my family, and I ran away from home. 
Back in the city, I was treated like a princess. I just had to snap my fingers to get whatever I wanted. But that's not real living, is it? I got tired of that life. I wanted to fend for myself, survive by my own skill. But you didn't realize just how hard that would be. I lasted three whole days before I collapsed in the woods, weak from thirst. And that's when this little guy came along just in time. He must have been injured too, because he was holding a Yule's flower in his beak. I thought to myself, I'm going to die, but at least I'll have this beautiful chocobo to watch over me as I go. But then, something even more incredible and beautiful happened. The chocobo spoke to me, as clear as I'm talking to you now. Hang in there, he said. You mustn't die. At first, all I could do was stare in shock. But then, his words began to sink in. I realized he was trying to save my life. Anyway, right after that, some villagers found me, and they nursed me back to health. But I'm sure that I wouldn't have been alive when they found me if it wasn't for my little chocobo. Ah, uh, you owe him your life. Great. So that's what your little play acting was about. You thought if you could convince the chocobo that you were dying, he might start talking to you again, like he did the first time. Yep. I was trying to recreate the scene just like it happened, with the Yule's flower in the beak and everything. And to be honest, I could do with a chocobo giving me encouragement again. Life has been... getting me down. I thought if I could hear the chocobo talk again, he might cheer me up like the last time. <laughs> I know it's stupid. Chocobos can't talk. Oh, I guess it was just in my head that first time. It's all right. You'll find what you're looking for. What? Don't turn around. I... You're searching for meaning to your life. And you're going to find it. I know you will. In fact, maybe you already have, if you really, really think about it. Sometimes you lose your way. Sometimes the going gets so steep you fall, but the path is always there in front of you. You just have to keep going. Yes. You're right, it is there, and I do see it. Thank you. Who's that child? Yes, what do you want? I heard the chocobo talk. You're going to find it. I know you will. Huh. That was a clever trick you pulled, young man. Y young man? I'm a girl! Uh, you are? Uh, sorry, I... I didn't realize. Good grief! Everyone's the same! No one ever looks at me! It's like when I helped Nadia. The first time, I mean. She saw the chocobo, but she didn't see me on its back. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's what happened. It was you who spoke to her. She was half dead and delirious, so she thought it was the chocobo. She's read way too many fairy tale books. But I guess it was kind of good it happened that way. Thanks to that, she wanted to go on living. So you can't tell Nadia the truth, okay? Okay, agreed. What you did was good, pretending to be a chocobo and saying those things to her. She needed that. Wise words. Sometimes the going gets so steep you fall, but the path is always there in front of you. Huh? I didn't say anything like that. What does it even mean? I just told her it's alright, or something like that. Wait, really? You didn't give a little speech? No, weird. Maybe you both imagined it. <sighs> or maybe they can talk. real strange fellow the other day. He had some hair, like a wild bird's nest, sticking straight up in the air. How'd he make it do that? And what was he muttering? Something about a coffin or a coffer?
Yagd village lies within the forest, just up ahead. area stands a remote village, which is inhabited by followers of Etro. They were run out of the cities for being heretics, and fled here, a land blighted by the goddess's temple, where no one... I can't take this curse anymore. I need Cardesia's elixir. He said something about Cardesia. That sounds like a woman's name. Cardesia. I know her. That's the apothecary in Yogd village. Hmm. You are telling me that his wings are not yet strong enough to bear you to the temple? When I look up beyond the rocky crags and view the temple, I feel that much closer to my goddess. Tell me, Traveler, where did you come from? I sense something in you. A kind of strange power. Everyone who lives in this village worships the goddess Etro. It's Etro. Here, we are closer to her sacred presence than anyone else in the world. One day we shall leave our corporeal bodies and be summoned to her side. Here, we wait for that day. We have not always lived here. We come from Luxarian, Yusnan, and other cities that have since been swallowed by the chaos. But then, as now, the Order rule the cities. They preach that the God of Light their almighty Benevelsa should be worshipped above all other gods. We defied them, and so we were persecuted. Some of my brothers and sisters took up arms and fought back against the Order. However, I and others like me abhorred the violence. So we came out here, seeking a peaceful sanctuary. of legends? The White Chocobo! I, I am one of the believers, awaiting the world's end. And you, you, you are the bringer of the end. That creature with feathers of white will lead you toward your destined path. Now is the time. You must make your way to the temple. I will stand right here, praying for your safety and for your soul. The Chocobo is fully recovered from his wounds. I think it's time, Light. Fate has brought you this far, and the Chocobo is ready to take you the rest of the way. Go to the temple. 
Find the source of the great chaos. Angel soar! Your mission was to bring me here, to the gates of this temple, and you've completed that task. From here on in, I go it alone. What happens next is the Savior's job. The Temple of the Goddess. It was not originally a part of this world, but was left here when Valhalla fell. Legends tell us that the Great Chaos sleeps within this temple's walls. It would most likely refer to the power that has destroyed this world. The unseen chaos that has torn the world apart, and it was unleashed by one man, all because he wanted to stop time for a girl he loved. Caius Ballad. If only I could have stopped him earlier. But I didn't. Presence appeared in the temple, and the chaos reacted to it. Is someone manipulating the chaos somehow? Or does it actually have a will of its own? The chaos in that temple is not the normal kind. That is obvious enough. <laughs> 